Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a fall makeup look. I just started filming this video and then um, I put this foundation on and it was way too late. So then I just said I'm going to restart it so I don't have to do that much editing. Um, so I'm just going to use a different foundation. I'm going to use a concealer and a foundation and mix them to make a darker foundation. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 420. And this is the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade in the shade Almond. I'm going to first put on this one to see if it will work. And if it won't, I'm going to mix some of this in because this used to always be too dark for me. So, it might work. I'm going to put one there for now. This foundation is always so runny. Um, I'm just going to use this as concealer and put it some other places. Okay, so I think I'm super full coverage. And I don't think I'm going to add any. Well, I'm going to add a little bit of this Makeup Revolution uh, Conceal and Define Full Coverage con Concealer and Contour in the shade C3. This is actually the latest thing I've ever seen. But I'm going to put it right here and right here. So I'll brighten up this little area. I love all of my concealers I have. But I have zero. Or I'll have like three that are in my shade at the moment. I have it brightened up a little bit. Um, not really, but it's okay. Um, and now I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the shade transparent so fun like to do my makeup once in a while because this is the first time in a really long time that I like did full glam and I really really wanted to because now I'm into my YouTube spurt so I'm watching a lot of YouTube and getting a lot of ideas off of YouTube so I think some cool ideas are, com uh, are coming this way. I'm going to try to find a palette. I have two palettes. So I'm going to use... The Sylvia Ganny BH Cosmetics Palette and the Soph X Revolution Palette. Because, like, this has Pumpkin Cloudberry. It has, like, a lot of nice shades right here. And this one do too. Like, it got Ginger, this one, and whatever this one's named. Uh, Chantel, but like it's still really nice shades. So let's get started with this eyeshadow look. I'm first gonna start off with a cup of tea that is in the Sofax palette, and it's this one right here. And I'm going to um, use this. Body Shop brush, and this is the PE1 
you know, P61E brush. And I'm going to dip into that color. And I'm going to put it in my crease. I know like it's probably blended out, but I'm gonna use the Morphe 510 brush and I'm just gonna blend it out just a little bit more. That's gonna be my like make sure brush, make sure everything's blended out good. And next I'm going to use the shade Ginger. So I'm going to dip in the gin ginger in this palette and I'm going to use the Morphe 518 brush, M518. I'm going to just put this on, my, on the outer corner and blend it in like this part. I'm deepening up the crease. This isn't a really good brush for what I'm trying to do, but I guess I'll use this and then there's a deeper shade in the Soap X palette, so I'm going to use that too. My camera just cut off, but now I'm back. I'm just blending this out. And now I got ginger blended out, so I'm going to um, use the Anastasia brush that came with my Soft Glam palette I'm gonna dip into pumpkin um it's this one right here uh where my index finger is this one and I'm gonna like precisely put that in the outer corner to deepen it up even more I'm gonna put it there with this side and then I'm gonna blend it out with that side I think that looks really nice. So now I'm gonna do it on the other side. I think my eye, I think my eyes look really good, and I think pumpkin like made it like ten times better. I'm gonna use Festival Flame. No, I'm gonna use Copper Coin. This one right here. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm I'm not going to cut my crease, but I'm going to put it from, like, all over. I know that this is pretty intense already, but I'm just going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus on the brush. And I'm gonna see if that intensifies it anymore. Now I'm just gonna try to blend that out with um, a cup of tea. That's the first one we used. I'm going to mix that with ginger in the, S, uh, in the Savannah um, Sylvia palette and the I think my eyes look so good now I'm just going to use um, this brush this is by Louie and I'm gonna dip into opal in this palette opal is right there it's a highlighter and I'm gonna just put that in my inner corner I'm 
I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. And now that my eyes are done, I'm gonna brush off my um, powder under my eyes. Now this is my eyes. It don't look like 100% the best, but um, for my talent and how long I've learned, I think that this is pretty good. Um, and now I, I'm gonna do my bronzer. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade In the Sun. This bronzer. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Total Face Brush. I'm just going to put this like all over my face. And it doesn't matter where it goes because this foundation is also still light. So the darker I can be now, the, be the better. I'm going to try to warm myself up as much as I can. So now the bronzer is done. Next I have um, blush and then I'm going to use my MAC Dolly Mix Blush. Since I got, and since I got such a bronzy look, this bronzer is going to look really good with it. And next I'm going to use um, a highlighter, and I'm going to use the Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. This is what it looks like. Um... Since this is also bronzy and it's not like opal, um, the other highlighter, the Ofra highlighter, um, uh, since it's not like opal, like this is little, this is a little darker, so it's gonna look good with this eye look also. My forehead is really dark right now, so, um, I can't wait to put some setting spray on all the powders are done now so I'm gonna move on to lips now I'm gonna move on to mascara I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Bloomus Last Paradise L'Oreal mascara and this is a this is in the shade blackest black I'm gonna put this on my lashes um, this is the lashes. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Essence Make Me Brow uh, Eyebrow Gel in the shade Blonde. And the reason I'm looking up there is because you're light against a mirror. Because I don't have like a tripod at the moment. Well, I have one, but I can't like set it up right. So I'm just going to lie you against that mirror at the time being. But at the, yeah. Now I'm going to see if I can find a lipstick that will look good. And now I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Matte Lipstick in the shade uh, Chauffeur. I don't know what that says, but like, it is uh, C-H-A-U-F-F-E-U-R. So yeah, I'm just going to put this lip lipstick on and then I'm going to put my setting spray on and then we're done.
this is the nudist nude I have. It's almost like lighter than my skin. I don't really like light, light nudes. I like pink nudes. Like, that's my favorite kind of nude. So, yeah. I'm just going to put on a lipstick on over this. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to see if I can put this lip liner on. This is a Rimmel London lip liner in the shade um, 050 Tur as Su. Now I'm just going to put this NYC lip gloss on over. It looks really nice. For my setting spray, I use the Max Fix Plus, the gold one. And thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. This is future Tia because my video wouldn't download from iCloud. So um, I just wanted to quickly put this in here. So bye, guys.